Um, well, I'm Jen McGinn. And I'm James McGinn. Um, we are brother and sister. Um, we uh, recently established a sort of collaborative um, effort together that we call McGinn and Again. Um, we'll be working on showing a piece for the festival called A Gram and a Gone. Uh, this piece is uh, initially, well, the research so far has been based on a quartet um, and building kind of kaleidoscopic pathways of different types of images and materials to be performed simultaneously. Um, I think one of our, our intentions with this work is really to um, change the ways in which we as a public get to experience the symbols of the body found within dance practice. Um, and also change the ways in which we can internalize and sort of understand uh, a multiplicity of images uh, and multitask, um, sort of outsource the reception of uh, each specific image to different aspects of our, our <laughs> uh, consciousness, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, James and I grew up dancing together our whole lives. Our mother was a ballerina and she, um, developed um, a, her own school and we grew up studying um, under her and studying many different styles of dance um, and I think a lot of that has been brought into this piece in particular where we're really referencing um, many different styles of dance, referencing um, pedestrian movement, referencing just any way that people move um, and so it's been an interesting process to kind of look at the shared histories and techniques of of um, practice that we've studied together as siblings, but then also what the dancers we're working with, we've known for a really long time and we've worked with for a long time. So a lot of that history is already um, in there as we're developing new movement practices. In some ways you could look at the very small details of each movement. Um, because I think they, they, each one of them signifies things quite directly. Um, each image is quite charged, and especially seeing uh, the sets of imagery, um, I think in and of itself is, <laughs> is very specific and, and, and quite important, but uh, there's something about the, the larger pictures, and what we're getting at is trying to build these ideas of a referential mosaic, or the ways in which these series of references or images can fit together as a larger constellation. Um, so a bit more of a sort of meta imagery in relationship to, you know, long sequences of quickly shape-shifting uh, symbols and forms. And it's nice to hear uh, from people who have come to see the, the showings we've had um, and short presentations. Um, it's really nice because everything is very... Everyone's interpretation of what's happening is very different, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, which I really like because in some ways it's almost... Um, you know, the images that stick out to certain people, I think, are really specific to what they're thinking about or going through in their daily life or whatnot. And so, in some ways, when someone says, oh, I saw this and this and this, I mean, not to say that it's like some sort of like, you know, psychoanalytical practice or like a Rorschach test or something, but it does have this kind of thing where there's so much to see, so much going on, and there are certain images that stick out and resonate with people more concretely. And so it's cool to hear the impressions or specifically the images that stand out. Um, but I don't know, I suppose then maybe that's the intention of the work, to build something that is, you know, polymorphic and can really, um, yeah, function uh, as an open set of possibilities that depending on the observer, it really... Um, can serve whatever observer wants it to serve for them, so, so to speak. Yeah. At the same time, too, our intention, we also just wanted to make, like, this really complex dance with some of our favorite people in the world, so this was a good excuse for it. <laughs>